What's up, people, and welcome back to Turbo Life Plays Minecraft. <laughs> We're back out here at the fantastic iron farm, just, uh, you know, taking care of all the kitties and iron golems in the land, and uh, just loving it. I think it's doing gangbusters. Let's go take a look here. Shouldn't be too much different, I guess, since uh, we left you last, but here... This is what I got going. I did clean out uh, this section here of iron already once. Oh, hey, there's, there's smoking an iron uh, iron golem right now. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So anyway, that's been great. We've linked up this thing. We got to put some stairs in here. This is kind of bananas. Um, but yeah, we've linked it up to the uh, mob farm down there for some XP. And then this way is back to our castle. We'll head back there now and uh, take a look at what we're doing today. Hey, what's up, fellas? Yeah, we got to get you out of here and get you go get you to work. Need to get that going. And I think the primary thing we're going to do today is we're going to finish off this glass wall over to the edge uh, and transform this area and clean it all out and then maybe put uh, just a, uh, a slab layer here so it's too deep and the fire pit in the middle with, uh, with the water and everything maybe and see if we can spawn some uh, mobs here, drive them to the center, burn them up and collect the loot. I don't know if that's going to work, uh, but... Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think uh, I think we'll give it a shot. We'll give it the old college tries, if you will. So I think we're gonna jump into a time lapse right now, get into that, and uh, see if it works out. Just got uh, the floor done. I don't uh, not sure how crazy I am about uh, about the diorite, the polished kind of diorite pattern I went for there. Maybe I should do like a checkered pattern between the polished and the regular diorite. It looks a little wonky, but I'm gonna leave it as is for now. Maybe I'll dress it up in the future. But uh, overall. Uh, I think it's, uh, I think I'm digging it. It's, it's not bad. Um, this is kind of funky over here though, isn't it? I should have, uh, something going on here. It's not a perfect X, so it's kind of wonky, I guess. We have two up and there's only one up over here. So this should be here. Uh, this should be here, I think, right? Yeah, so that makes that correct. And this is to that way, to the wall, and to that way. So it's a little bit of a funk, a little bit of a funky design, but I think it's gonna work. So that's cool. So we got that. 
Um, and then we're going to turn this. This is one, two, three. So I don't think we want it three high down here. I think we want it too high. Uh, so uh, I'm going to clear this out and do too high. And uh, then hopefully this will spawn mobs for us. And we'll push them down into a lava pit right here. Let's go ahead and get that going and uh, and see if uh, see if that see if that's gonna work out for us. Let's, uh, let's get to it. in uh, not quite the design I was thinking so I'm not even sure if uh, mobs will spawn in water maybe I should look that up before I start doing all this but uh, I think uh, it's time to go take out all the uh, torches here and see if anything spawns Oh, there's an Enderman. <laughs> there's an Enderman wandering around. Oh man, that's super bright because of the lava right there. That's probably no good, huh? That gives off a lot of light. Shoot. I didn't think about that. Um, yeah, well, I guess I could move the whole chamber down. And that would reduce the light in this room so they'd fall down. And, um, you know, in that case, I could just use fall damage, I think. Uh, have them fall all the way down the shaft and then, uh, and then die at the bottom. Uh, I'm not really looking for XP. I'm just kind of looking for random, random loot from, uh, mobs that would spawn in here. So... Okay, let me try. Let me take the lava out of here, and I'll uh, I'll be right back with you. Let's go see if we got uh, any mobs coming through. I did uh, took out the water. Oh yeah, we got we got bad guys in here. Most we'll certainly do. Zombies. Creepers. Uh oh, a couple of them. All right, so they'll spawn like this. So let's try to open up our pit here. It's got the lava down there still. And see if we can get them to spawn at all. Probably not. 
but uh, yeah, let's try it out. All right, so I just uh, hung out for a few minutes. Let's go down and take another look. Oh, we got a creeper. So things will. Oh. Nope, nope. <laughs> Oh, and a zombie. Why won't my sword? Okay, so we can get them to spawn. Even with the lava that close down there. Now I'm wondering, can I get them to spawn with water in here? Maybe move the lava, everything down another five blocks or something. That's what I'm thinking. So let's light this up really quick. Oh my gosh, it looks way brighter in here <laughs> with the torches. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put the water back in. I'm gonna this is gonna lower down one. Yeah, so that should work. And then I'm gonna lower all that down like five more blocks just to see if that'll do it. <laughs> Let's get to work. Oh, right. Well, I've been uh, fiddling around with uh, this goofy mob farm, and you know, it it works, just not the way that I want it to. Um, I'm thinking, you know, I could, I guess, I could spawn mobs in here, uh, let them build up, and then put a couple dispensers in all four corners and then hit a button the water would turn on and then just wait for it to push them all to the pit of despair here which obviously i need to fix this and to get another bucket of lava to make sure everything is covered um but honestly i'm just kind of just kind of over this project for for the time being uh, i'm gonna Get some uh, stone, I think, and uh, cover up that hole. Of course, I don't have any. <laughs> what the heck did I? Uh, yeah, I cleaned up all my cleaned up all my construction materials down here. So I guess I go all the way upstairs. All right, so I got some stone. I'm just gonna. Anybody else spawning in here? No. So just gonna go ahead and cover this up for now, and uh, maybe we'll we'll come back to it. Maybe put the uh, dispensers in the corners, hook up a button with some redstone, and um, make those water things flow to drive everybody to the center. But uh, I think, oh, it's just a, and just a terrible thunder. Oh my goodness. Listen to that thunder. Anyway, I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and tackle the rest of this glass wall here and get that fixed up and try to figure out what exactly I'm going to do for this center. It's going to be a two center, uh, two block center here. And then, um, right here where this block is, is that why everything's messed up? See that goes to there and that goes to there. Oh, that's all. That's all correct. So anyway, here's here's gonna be the other the other wall. I've got it off by one block. That was my original marker because I was gonna have a one block center based off of this center, um, but I made it a two block center. So anyway, um, yeah. So let's uh, let's jump into the time lapse and uh, get the rest of this. <laughs> Curse you! and uh, get the rest of this uh, glass in.
is out there working on the um, the glass wall and I get back and here I got this guy over here for some reason and this place is just riddled with bad guys and then uh, let's walk on over here and crap <laughs> they just murdered all of my <laughs> all ten of my, <laughs> my guys back here Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, well, you know, live and learn, I guess, right? Okay, well, we got um, we got one guy left over. And, um, yeah, that's about it. So I wonder where all the bad guys came from. I mean, I guess they could have spawned over here in this particular dark area. I suppose so I didn't go and put torches down from when I cleaned out uh, cleaned out this area but the glass wall is looking massive I'm not I don't know if I'm too excited about this center pillar now that it's in there I mean I don't really um, it's not really, you know, it's not completed at all, but it looks super heavy. Like, um, yeah, like maybe it doesn't belong, but if I finish off this wall, uh, then maybe it won't look so bad. But it's looking pretty heavy, and I was thinking, you know, straight down from up here, connect back into here. I don't know how I was going to do it. It's really weird. I want to make something dynamic and interesting, but just not not quite sure how to do it. So let's take a look at our little mob farm that's probably, you know, they're probably spawning down here and then walking up, just making a, just making a mess out of things, I'm sure. So let's see. Look at that. I had... And more mobs on top of my mob farm than I actually had in my mob farm. So this thing is obviously, obviously a lost cause. Ah, uh, goodness. So uh, with that, I think uh, I'm going to just end it here today. I uh, got quite a bit done on the castle. Uh, gonna, I'm just going to do away with this mob farm. I'll probably uh, do that in between episodes. Just... Uh, just kind of fill it in probably with some extra dirt or something or just start digging it out for different levels and then um, get my breeder uh, my uh, my uh, uh, guys bred up down here so I get another 10 villagers since uh, the mobs killed all of mine and uh, then next I think next episode we'll uh, work on the uh, villager uh, trading villager trading area up on top and, uh, and yeah, and just continue on from there. So I think we'll probably, like I said, finish finish this room off in between, and uh, and then we'll just do a quick tour. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with uh, these pillars and things. They look kind of tiny compared to the room, especially at certain angles with the uh, the right angle lens, but. Uh, Yep, yeah, that's where we're going to end it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it very much. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.